Hi, my name is Matthew. Welcome to Artisans Interactive Game Dev. Today we're going to make a health bar for our player, Construct 2. Let's jump right in. Alright, so we're going to make a health bar for our player. So we're going to... Here's our player. We have a respawn so far. Uh, we have some collecting coins and a enemy that we can fight in and get instantly destroyed. We have a coin UI um, and that's what we have so far. But uh, if you do not have this project and you are following along with your own project, it is easy to implement in any project that you have. Um, else, if you're following along, there is the downloads for this project and all of the bits and pieces using in the description box below. So, first thing we're going to do is create our progress bar. So, we will right click on our screen, insert new object, and then we're going to create a progress bar. We're going to call this progress bar Player's health bar. Go insert. And we pick it there. So, just below the coin value. So, there we go. And we can get a value. So, if there's a zero at the moment, we'll set it to 25. And press play. Check out our progress bar. So, there it is. Full progress bar, about 25% full, perfect. So we know that it's there and that it's working. Um, we'll go, oh, and, but the only issue is it doesn't do that. So we will do that now. Um, we need to jump into our event sheet after we've made our progress bar and we need to create a variable. This global variable, so right click on the screen, add global variable, uh, this global variable be our player's health. Um, it will hold the amount of health um, and communicate with the progress bar and tell it um, how full or not full it will be. Um, and because it's a progress bar, it doesn't necessarily need to be player's health. It could be the fuel in my car, or the power of my jump. So you can progress bars in many different ways. Um, we are using the player's health, so we're going to set the value to 100. Okay, player's health. Great. Um, so we are needing to communicate to the bar now and tell it to set itself to the health value. So what we're going to do is we have a couple of instances where the player's health will change. Okay, and in those instances we need to communicate to our health bar and tell it, hey, like you should change to this value. So, I created um, inside a player folder a event on collision with enemy destroy um, player. Now, if you are following along um, from another project, um, this is relevant to any section that will deal damage to a player that you want to. Um, so, in this instance, we are changing the value every time we hit the enemy. Alright, so we're going to first get rid of the destroy player. And we are going to add a condition. So, down, right click on the event, and then add 
go a add block. We can add a condition, so right click on this, add another condition. And this condition will be checking the help. So we have a value that we're going to reach the health by. Um, which I'll say is 25. So what we're going to do is uh, go to the game system. We are going to compare variable and we're going to compare the health variable. And we're going to make sure that the health variable is greater than the amount of damage that we're dealing. Okay. So. We're going to go player so say is it greater than twenty five? So enemy collide sub event. If it's greater than twenty five, then we can take the help. But if it is less than twenty five then we play the player. So we can we are going to do an else statement right after this. So right click on the whole bar, add event, and then else. So now we can change that variable. So we can go add an action under the player greater than 25. Go to our game system. We go that value, oh no, uh, subtract from value, and we're going to subtract from health, and we're going to subtract 25, and in, I'm just going to destroy the player, destroy, and done. So, Take 25, we'll destroy the player. So each of these events, we need add a update to the progress bar. So after we have done the health and after we've left, uh, we add events. So we'll add an action. We're going to go to our player's health bar. And then we're going to Set the progress. We're going to set the progress of the bar, and uh, we are going to set it. Players help, which is up the top, our global variable up here. A players done, and copy. Else, solve and right click and paste and go. Okay. So each of these make sure that we change the player's health and update that bar. There's one more thing that we might want to do. The once we've destroyed the player, we will probably want the player to come back into the game at full health. So we are going create one more variable, uh, or one more event, right click on our player, add an event, up event, and get our player next on create, so right down here on create, so when the player is created, drag that up here. Uh, we are going to set our health, so we're going to get and set player health 100. Every time the player is created, the player's health will be set to 100, and after that, I can copy 
bark. I make it hard on myself and but they paste. So, 100. Every time you change the health, you need to update it. Is that it? Alright, so, if we now play this, let's see what happens. Here's our player, full health bar. Oh, we take some damage. Oh, we take some more damage. Oh, we're taking... And then we get killed, and then we get set back to 100 health. That's perfect! That works. Lovely. I'll drag this off here. There's one more thing that uh, I'd like to show. Um, if you are finding that it's very difficult to do this method of setting health, there is technically an easier way. Um, but be aware, it is a lot more taxing because it happens all the time. So, cheesy way of setting health. We can go add event and we can add a system event and then we can type tick and then what we can do is uh, since I've already got this copied by the way I can go paste so every frame of the game as the game like is continually running, we are continually setting and updating the progress bar. Make sure that the progress bar equals the amount of player's health. Um, that is the easy way of doing it, um, but when you have lots of things ticking, um, it be very taxing on your game. So be aware. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe, don't forget to ring that bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video.